How do you manage burnout between working in cybersecurity full time and also having a side hustle or creating cyber related content? How do you turn your brain off? I don't know. When you figure it out, let me know. Uh, I did write a blog for this for Simply Cyber Academy and I have a video on my YouTube channel about how I manage my time. But the answer to this question is different for every single person. So I'll give you a few pieces of advice. Number one, don't compare yourself to other people. I know easier said than done, but all of us have different perspectives, different experience levels, and different interests. What might look like burnout for you may not look like burnout for me. My second piece of advice is if you're a parent, especially with young kids, do not compare yourself to other people who don't have kids, right? Like I, I cannot compare myself to the John Hammonds of the world, amazing person, but as far as I know, doesn't have kids. I have two young kids. If I want to succeed in my career, it might require me sacrificing a relationship with my kids, which I am not willing to do. I will choose a lower salary. I will choose lower growth if it means I get to spend more time with my family and my kids. They are way more important than a silly cybersecurity career or making content. So just make sure your priority priorities are straight. Now, for me, the way this works is I work my typical nine to five job from nine to five. I get off work at five o'clock. I disconnect from all of this. I hang out with my family till about eight o'clock or nine o'clock when they go to bed. And then at nine o'clock, I'm generally back on my computer making content, live streaming, doing video editing till midnight or one in the morning. Now, for a lot of people, my schedule would lead to burnout, especially knowing I have an eight-year-old and a five-year-old. Like I don't get much sleep in general, but here's the thing. I legit get refueled by hacking stuff. So when you see me live streaming at night and I'm working through machines, that doesn't feel like work to me. Like that's not burning me out. That is life giving to me. I thoroughly enjoy learning. As far as turning my brain off, I don't know how. I don't turn it off. I do gaming every once in a while. But truly, don't compare yourself to other people. If you have kids and a significant other, make sure you prioritize them over your work. And finally, one other just important reminder I would give you is that you are a human being, not a human doing, which I know is a little bit cliche, but it's much more important the person you are becoming and less important the work you are doing or the title or the search that you hold next to your name. I want you like, seriously, when we're done with this show, go stand in front of your mirror, stare at yourself for three minutes. It's going to be a very uncomfortable experience, but just look at yourself and ask your, just, just look at that, you know, like the, the YouTube video, but ask yourself the honest question is the person I am today who I want to be. It's the person I'm becoming the person I want to become. Not, am I earning the OSCP? Not, am I making good money? But no, internally, are you becoming the kind of person you actually want to be for your friends, for your partner, for your children? If the answer is no, you need to focus on that. Don't focus on your career. Don't focus on earning a certification. Focus on becoming the person you want to be and career success will follow if you focus on being a healthy person emotionally, spiritually, and physically. That would be my advice.